morning guys and girls. Today we've got a fish that can often be called a pest but it is one of those fish that competitive anglers have now uh, sort of linked on to especially down the Eastern Cape. Um, for nationals it's one of those fish that when you're based in in the Eastern Cape area it has to be one of the top of your list to be able to target. There are some finicky little tricks and things like that. We might get ready to do a, a trace or two. If we do, the, we'll link it in the video or description at some point. Um, remember, like and subscribe. Click the little bell icon. Um, it should be down at the bottom there somewhere. Um, that just keeps you updated. Whenever we have a new video, pops up into your feed, just says, hey, new video. What we're talking about today is the lesser guitar fish, otherwise known as the lesser sand shark. Now it's Rhinobartus annulatus. It's a nice little, little rhyme there for you guys. Um, there are a few different little lessers. Um, the main one is just called the lesser. Then you do get a gray spot and you get a blue spot lesser. Um, those are going to be smaller species. We might cover them in a separate video together. But for now, we're just talking about the normal stock standard lesser um, that you get along our entire coast. Um, pretty much Namibia through to Natal. Okay, in terms of shaping, you've got a guitar fish. Now that's a shovel shaped, almost arrow, arrow shaped head with an extended body, almost like a ray or shark swam into a ray and got stuck. That's kind of what it, what it looks like. If you haven't seen them before, look at the pictures, you'll, you'll get it from that. Um, small little eyes on the top of their head, um, which tells you they're not really feeding by sight. They've got um, mouth is on the underneath of their body, which tells you they're feeding on the bottom. And fairly small tail and a flattened bottom section with a fairly streamlined top which tells you they're sitting flush on the bottom and they're not moving around a lot they don't have this big tail to to move around they're pretty much a miniature version of a giant sand shark which kind of makes you lesser sand shark giant sand shark easy easy one to remember um, they do also have spiracles at the top of the head don't handle them by that you can grab them by the tail or by the body they're generally small you get them up to a meter and a half, but generally all are going to be un under a meter in length. Um, you can sort of guide them by holding the, the front of the head, the leading edges like that. You can hold them as a bone that runs on either side. You can, can hold them by that um, and pull them along. But generally, a lesser is small enough that you can grab them by the tail and, and work them like that. Bait-wise and what they feed on, you're looking at anything on the bottom. Uh, crabs, worms, uh, bivalves, mollusks, anything that's going to be living on the sand or in the sand and anything that's going to die and fall and land on the sand. So bait wise, you're kind of open to everything. If you want to target them specifically, a fresh little mullet head is absolutely deadly. Um, I highly recommend circorks. They, they're not a fish that's going to pick up a bait and spit it out. They pick it up and they take off. So. Once he's picked it up, the circle look how it works, you know, they turn into the corner of the mouth, he's going to pick it, move away, he almost hooks himself. So, a trace with a nice, something like a pyramid sinker is going to sit in the bottom and just give a little bit of resistance before it gives, is going to be deadly because he essentially hooks himself and takes off. Uh, fighting wise, they're not the strongest of fish, they're similar to the other, to the giant sandy, but not as big a tail, so they're not as quick. Uh, not as strong and don't have the stamina of the, of the bigger fish so light tackle your little scratching sticks um, the rod you would spin for for shad is perfect for a lesser that works absolutely fine because you're not we're not talking about 100 meter cost you're talking just, I've caught them under 10 meter cost um, they actually spots on the south coast especially on your um, when you get your your spring tides coming in when that coincides with like a night uh, or an early evening you can sit on some of the rocks when the water comes all the way around you and you're catching lessers in water less than a half a meter deep. Um, I still remember doing it as a lighting with a little bass rod. Most fun you're ever going to have. Um, yeah, so lesser, mouth on the bottom, small little baits. Keep your baits on the bottom. You're not using foam. Foam lifts the bait up. Then because he's got such small eyes, it's not really, he doesn't look, he's working more on scent. Um, but you do get them when you're catching, targeting cob because it's the same kind of areas, sandbanks. A uh, little indentation in the sand bank where you can sit and hide, and um, areas where you can stay out of the main main current. But yeah, the lesser, um, a very important competition species, and one that is generally sought or uh, brushed off as a pest, but can be a hell of a lot of fun on the lighter tackle. So it's something I recommend you guys target, especially if you want to get into fishing for stuff like sharks. Instead of jumping at the deep end, start with your smaller inedibles and work your way up. So yeah. Also makes a very good bait, by the way.
Elisa. Cheers, guys.